So we've looked at the first 10 gestures, notice the gesture. Now what I'd like to do is look at another 10 gestures, which are going to allow you to be even more impactful. Notice the gesture. So when talking to groups, you hear people say, ooh, we need to think out of the box on this one. So wouldn't it be nice if you could portray that? And one way I've seen people do it is say, Stan, I'd really like us to, to, to think out of the box on this one. So what they're doing is they're actually drawing the box several times. That's an opportunity. And another one I've seen that works really well is where people say, I'd like us to think out of the box on this one. I'm concerned that we're too constrained right now. So either one of those shows you're just doing it with nice time and space and firm hands and shows that you know what you're talking about and you know where you're going. Optimistic is more something that happens up here. So if you need to say, folks, you know, I'm really optimistic about this. I think we've got some great ideas. Let's take this forward. It shows that you almost have the brain spark taking place. And when you're doing it, you may want to bring up your energy and even smile at the same time to show them that you're congruent and that you're really looking forward to it. When you're in a meeting and somebody suggests that you add three more points to the agenda, and you don't want to add three more points to the agenda, you need to tell them in a very nice way that your concern is we need to follow the agenda. One way I've seen people do that is they hold up their hand as if it's looking at an invisible piece of paper and they take two fingers and they say, Pete, if we add those pieces to the agenda, I'm concerned we're not going to get there. My suggestion is let's just follow the agenda we have and maybe the next two pieces we can add to our meeting tomorrow. One of the words you may want to show to groups is the word concern. And one way to show that is, is by showing, you know, the hands moving a little bit. You say, folks, when I see the progress here, I'm concerned about where we're going. I'd like to take the project back and look at this and see how we're going to move forward. Another interesting concept is when you need to tell a group that you've got change, transformation, or modification. So one way to say is, folks, I see our transformation efforts are really paying off and we're getting the results we want. And I want to thank you for doing that. The word eager is a word that oftentimes requires a gesture. And my suggestion is take your hand and then put it softly up here in the middle of your chest where your heart is to indicate that it is actually a true, natural emotion that you're having. If you say, folks, I'm feeling really eager about this and I'm happy with the progress we're making, you won't look sincere. So please keep it there long enough. So challenges do come up in projects and one way to show it is by putting your hand against the barrier and then telling your team, folks, I know we have challenges and I'm convinced that we can go around them and take this where it needs to be out into the future. Enthusiasm or enthusiastic is a word that often requires a gesture and one way I've seen people be very successful with that is clasping their hands, holding them and using an upward movement to say, folks, I'm really enthusiastic about where we're taking this and I'm happy about the progress, so let's keep going. Hopeful is another word that you may want to convey in a presentation where you may want to take your hands like this and say, I'm really hopeful about where we're going with this and I'm looking forward to seeing the results we're going to be soon getting from the initiative. If you've been gesturing a lot, you may decide that there are certain keywords where you don't want to gesture anymore because you don't want to overdo it. So one word would be excited and if you are excited, you could simply bring up your speed a bit or you could bring up the energy and smile and say, I am really excited about this project and then make sure you show it and hold it long enough so that the audience can see that it is a congruent emotion and it is tied with your words and your body.